This is Canadian Cult Cinema. The Pit, aka Teddy, is a 1981 Canadian horror film that is oddly mostly shot in Wisconsin. It tells the story of Jamie Benjamin, our main protagonist slash antagonist. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit later. Jamie has no friends. He's bullied by the other kids, even the little girl that lives across the street. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, if it isn't clumsy, stupid. And even the elderly don't seem to like him very much. If you don't mind, young man. Sorry. Well, then move. Who is it doing this? The Benjamin boy. Oh, that one. Just not right, that boy. I'm glad his poor parents have decided to move elsewhere. He'll grow up. Surely, my dear, but into what? One of those hippies. Jamie's parents are going away for a while, and they leave him in the care of Sandy. She has experience working with troubled children, but, well, nothing like Jamie. Well, he's going through that difficult stage. You know, girls. Yes. While Jamie doesn't have any human friends, he does talk to his reptiles and his teddy bear, who talks back to him. Well, Teddy, I tried everything I could think of. Then there's only one thing left, isn't there? Yes. He also has friends called the Trolla Logs that live in a pit in the woods. To make all this worse, Jamie is just entering puberty and develops an unhealthy obsession with Sandy, which provides for some rather awkward moments. <gasps> Jamie, what are you doing in here? I was just watching you sleep. Jamie tells Sandy about the trolla logs that live in the pit in the woods. They are small, hairy creatures with glowing eyes, and of course, she doesn't believe him. I think the trolls are trolla logs. Do they talk to you, Jamie? We kind of feel bad for Jamie because he has no friends and he's bullied, but he also does some really creepy things, like tricking the woman across the street. He calls her and tells her that her niece has been kidnapped, and if she wants to see her again, she'll have to get naked. All right, damn you. You want to see my body? <laughs> Jamie begins stealing money to buy meat to feed the trolla logs. Once he gets caught stealing money, he must find other ways to feed them, and he begins leading people that bullied him into the pit. His first victim is the little girl who's constantly tormenting him, Abigail. You crummy little rat! You give me my bike! My aunt will call the police on you! And the old wheelchair-bound woman. <laughs> then Sandy's long. football player boyfriend. And finally, the bullying couple from his school, Freddie and Christina. I'm sorry about you. You're pretty. But you're not pretty inside. People being bullied and hurt isn't funny. Goodbye, pretty girl. Sandy begins to suspect that something's wrong and agrees to go see the pit with Jamie. She then realizes that the trolla logs are real and she wants to show them to scientists. She then falls in the pit. Jamie? With no more tormentors to feed the trolla logs, Jamie puts a rope in the pit and the trolla logs get out and find ways to feed themselves. The trolla logs start wreaking havoc, eating townspeople. The police soon round up a posse of gun toting locals to deal with the trog problem, and utter words never said by any law enforcement official in real life. Don't wait to ask questions or try to figure out what to do. Shoot the damn things! The posse find the trolla logs in their pit and dispose of them. They fill the pit in to bury their secret. In the final denouement, Jamie is sent to live with his grandparents, and he is introduced to a little girl named Alicia, and she shows him a pit in the woods. No. They're trawl logs. They eat people. Yes, I know. Ah! 
The Pit was intended to be a much different movie. Writer Ian Stewart meant the trollologues and teddy bear to all be in Jamie's head. Now, when I first watched the movie, I thought this was how it was going to play out, much like the Canadian psychological thriller Pin a few years later. But the director shows us the shot of the trogs early on, so that's not the case. It could have made for a much more interesting film. That's not to say that The Pit is bad. It's a perfectly entertaining, crazy, over-the-top B-movie, and with some, uh, strange little creatures. The 80s had a glut of diminutive monster movies, like Ghoulies, Critters, and The Gate, all spawned by the success of Gremlins. The Pit is often left out of that conversation, but it definitely does fit. It even predates Gremlins by a few years. The film was directed by Lou Lehman. It's his only directorial credit, but he did pen the Canadian horror film Phobia. Our lead character, Jamie, is played by Sam Snyders. He's previously worked on the television series Huckleberry Finn and Friends, playing Tom Sawyer. He does a really good job of walking the line between sympathetic loser and full-on psychotic creep. Janine Ellis, who played Sandy, has gone on to do an awful lot of voiceover work. She's appeared in shows like The Oblongs, Jackie Chan Adventures, and The Addams Family, just to name a few. I enjoyed The Pit. I think it's worth watching. It really is crazy, but... I really wanted to see the movie the writer initially intended. The underpinnings of that psychological element are there, but I just wish they were flushed out more. But it is a fun, over-the-top creature feature, and it's definitely crazy. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like and share button, and remember to check out some of our other reviews, and please subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and until next time, see ya.